Hello everybody, it's Smirkus here. Today I'm going to talk about the usage of words and perhaps more in the context of everything being offensive these days. And I'm going to start off with a brief history lesson of the Dutch, specifically the word geus. Geus was a name assumed by the Confederacy of Calvinist Dutch nobles who from 1566 opposed Spanish rule in the Netherlands. On the 5th of April 1566, permission was obtained for the Confederates to present a petition of grievances called the Request to the Regent Margaret, Duchess of Parma. About 250 nobles marched to the palace accompanied by Louis of Nassau and Brederode. The Regent was at first alarmed at the appearance of so large a body, but one of her councillors, Berlemont, allegedly remarked, Fear not, madam, they are only beggars. And in a speech three days later, Brederode declared that if need be, they were all ready to become beggars in their country's cause. The name became henceforward a party title, and in the Dutch language the word geus is used for linguistic reappropriation, a pejorative term used with pride by the people called that way. So instead of being offended at the term, they kind of took it as their own. Kind of the same how nigger was used and is still used pretty much as a negative term. But they do use it to describe themselves amongst each other. You know, the old, yo, what's up, my nigga? Uh, also, a friend of mine, he kind of... Uh, for a while there, he used the term, or used to introduce himself as, you know, Felix de Nego, which is pretty much Nigga. Felix de Nigga. <laughs> I always thought that was very funny. Now, what I also wanted to talk about is, you know, what what might seem offensive, you know. Like, uh, in Dutch we have the word klootzak, which is kind of a name, a word, uh, the translation is asshole. But, you know, sometimes before drinking, the, if you call your buddies up and you go, Hey klootzak, let's go out for a drink, huh? The same how you sometimes hear, I don't know, Australians or English people to each other go, Hey, you cunt, let's go out and have a drink, eh? It's like, how do you use a word? That is, what is the context? That is also kind of important. Um, but what might be pissing me off most these days about language is, well, first of all, that you know, where words, they kind of change their meaning over time. Like, um, fag used to the mean a cigarette, and gay used to meant that you were happy. But, yeah, now, now everybody who disagrees with you is called a Nazi or racist or whatever term they think they can use to shut you up. Because that's how the tactic has been adapted anyway. Because being a racist used to, used to actually mean something. Nowadays, if you're called a racist, it's kind of like, eh, you don't have any counterpoints, that's fine. Yeah, you know, whatever. We wear it as a badge of honor, almost. But also, the more you use, you throw around the terms racist or Nazi or cucks from quote unquote our side of the scale, that people are being called cucks all the time, or cunts or whatever. It seems to, for me anyways, it lose kind of loses the meaning of the words, you know. Uh, 
Yeah, and, uh, and uh, all these buzzwords that you hear and racist, sexist, misogynistic, whatever, all those buzzwords. Yeah. For me, they lose more and more meaning the more and more they are incorrectly used. And yeah, it's kind of sad to see the state of the state of language when uh, stuff like that happens, you know? Terms that used to mean something suddenly becoming meaningless because of incorrect overusage. Um, yeah, the whole another point of uh, discontent, I guess, is that everything seems to be offensive these days. But it seems like people, a lot of people have uh, forgotten that you choose to take offense. And of course I am not immune to this. But words itself are not offensive. It's impossible because offense is taken, not given. Um, what else did I want to say about this subject? Uh, I don't know. I guess that was pretty much it. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Take care.